Hello, um, this is Stardust Forever speaking. Um, I have a very special surprise uh, for you Atari fans. Um, you may remember um, Pitfall. Um, Pitfall 2. And Activision released a, a, did a very special uh, audio circuit. In this game, uh, most of the audio comes not from the VCS, but actually inside the cartridge itself. Uh, the cartridge changes the volume on the um, on the uh, internal registers inside the VCS at every scan line. And um, the pitch uh, from the oscillator inside the Pitfall 2 cartridge is controlled by an RC circuit. Now, originally, the, um, the cartridge had a, um, a 560 kilo-ohm resistor and that was paired with a capacitor of uh, unknown value. And um, what I've done is I've replaced the original 560 kiloohm resistor with a, a 220 kiloohm resistor in series with a 1 mega ohm potentiometer. So um, let's uh, find out what happens when the uh, potentiometer resistance is zero the uh, total resistance will be 220 kilo ohms, a little more than an octave uh, higher pitch than the original sound and when the volume control is uh, turned all the way to the left the potentiometer will have the maximum value which will be about 1.2 mega ohms total uh, resistance with the series uh, resistor which is inside the cartridge you can't see it uh, so I'm gonna turn it about two-thirds of the way up and plug the game cartridge in I'm gonna hit power and we see pitfall Harry I'm going to start the game and, oh yes, this is my uh, gigantic arcade joystick. It is very, very, very big. I'm going to set that right here. And I'm going to hit uh, the button to start the game. And I'm going to turn the volume up. And you can hear the uh, game, obviously sounds pretty normal. Um, let's see. The movement works. Okay. Now for the good stuff. Have you ever wanted, wanted to see what would happen if you could change the pitch of the audio? Let's find out.
is Stardust Forever, signing off. Thank you for watching.